Hello, you guys. Good morning. So today, I want to address the trolls that be patrolling on YouTube, you guys. The first thing I want you to know is that you are not crazy. You have a lot of trolls that's getting paid to say things, to distract you, to throw you off your game, to put you in a force of denial. But today is not going to happen. I'm here to tell you that I have trolls that come on my page, you guys, that say, um, I'm not trolling. <laughs> when you start and say you're not trolling, that's obviously me telling you knowing what you what are you doing. But anyways, a long story short, so there's this one guy named Daniel Woods that keeps coming on my page about ten times already. Um, trying to state that anybody that feels that they are a targeted individual, they are under a mental state of mind of being paranoid. I said, Daniel. Are you a psychologist? He says, no. I said, and how did you get the degree or knowledge enough to diagnose someone with a mental health issue if you don't even have the credentials to do so? Because I know you're a paranoid. You just think people is, okay, long story short, you guys know the story. So I'm here today to motivate those that are new that are going through this. Don't go run into a psychologist. You are not crazy. There are an uh, average amount of people that are following you. The things that separate you from being paranoid is that you have the conscious mind to be aware of your surroundings. If you are having a mental disorder, you don't have the conscious mind to be aware of your surroundings, meaning you can't distinguish who's following you, who's not. You will automatically put everybody in that same bracket of following you and harassing you. And as far as me, I don't think everybody's following me. I'm not scared of people. I don't stay closed up in my house. I still go to parties. I still go to dinner. I still go to work. When you are a paranoid individual, you can't even function to the point of getting through a day's daily day of work. Um, you can't even go to the grocery store. It's not that serious. You just know something's wrong. So stay strong, you guys, because the battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. This situation is going to make you stronger. I fear the devil's trick, but I don't fear the man of flesh. I fear what God has in store for me, but I don't fear the man that is trying to betray me. You get what I'm trying to say? So I want you guys to stay motivated, stay encouraged, and understand that you have to go through this battle because it's going to make you stronger. And you're like, why would it make me stronger? I'm telling you, because once you conquer your fear, you will wake up and be a whole other person. You won't fear anything anymore. It's going to be it is what it is. You're going to be so strong that you be that type of person that you've been at your employment and you didn't know how to stand up and ask questions or you didn't know how to stand up and get that promotion. You will because it's going to make you stronger. You're not going to fear anything anymore. I do not fear man, but I do fear God. So uh, to Daniel. I'm not saying I'm Superman or Superwoman. He said, you do have fear. That's why you're making these videos. If I had fear, I wouldn't make these videos. Because guess what? Every time I make a video, they attack me. And I'm making one today and I'm probably going to get attacked. But I have no fear because I fear no man but God. So that's all I'm going to try to drop on you guys. to Make sure you put your helmet to, on today of no fear. Have no fear because in order to succeed, you have to have no fear. Every motivational speaker such as those that help increase the peace every advocate they have to have no fear because literally those people lives are in danger trying to make sure that yours um survive so i'm here to tell you you guys god did not put in us the spirit of fear okay so if you fear these people relax they picked the wrong target individual because they picked me they didn't do their research I was broke before and I made it. I was down before and I made it. I love the color red, so when I see it, it doesn't bother me. I already was des I was already desensitized to that color. What else? So they 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 trying to hold us down, but it's not gonna be held forever. You guys have a good day because like I stated before keep praying keep praying for God to make you stronger in your situation if he can't change your situation this was just a rambling post to let you know that you are not paranoid if you're new and you're going through this this was just a rambling post to let you know that God is really going to get you through this it's, I know it's a struggle because I'm tired of crying
crying, so I will cry no more. I'm tired of hiding, so I will hide no more. I'm tired of running, so I will, run, I will not run no more. And I just want you guys to be on that same level with me of saying I'm tired. Enough is enough. Amen. Anybody have anything to say? And I'm, I'm thankful to let you guys know that there is some people on here that realize that it's not the people flesh that is harming you it's their spirit some people are being attacked by these demons that's controlling their mind frame so it's time to shut it off and pray over their spirit and say lord please um vindicate me and show these people the truth i am the will and the light amen talk to you guys later